Time to time, I guess, uh, large screen TVs in for uh, repair uh, with the LED backstrip lights. And sometimes I find it, I find it very difficult to get the uh, actual strips. And so what I have done recently is I've just got LED diodes off uh, AliExpress by the thousand and uh, uh, I've started doing uh, just replacing them. And uh, here, let's have a, a go at this. If we can give it a try. The background noise here you're hearing is an extractor fan and the actual hot air workstation. And uh, let's see, can we start? It's going to be a bit difficult for me here. Uh, there's not much room on this bench uh, that I'm working on. Uh, everything is very very much changed from what I used to have and uh, okay let's start with the first one I could get a I get a, a microscope view that might be a little bit better than uh, what I'm having here and let's have a look right over Focus the camera a bit. Oh. These LED diodes are uh, these LED diodes are uh, type three five three five. They're actually six volt. And I also see them. They look very similar, and they are three five two eight. I think it's gone by memory and. They're not as square as the um, 3535. Uh, the ones I see on here were incorrectly put on by the looks of it. These look like uh, 3528s. And they, uh, th this is part of the problem. These were put on, uh, someone put uh, si uh, 3 volt ones in, on instead of 6 volt. So when uh, the screen was powered up, it was to sh shut down within the protection mode. Because we need uh, it would have been sensible something around it would be the equivalent of having a shorter tire or putting shorter tires on, on a, a line. So let's have a go at taking this off. See how long it takes. Sorry, I have to take these. Glasses off. Find it impossible to walk through a microscope with glasses. Keep the board up a little bit. One good thing about it is it's uh, leaded solder on it by the looks of it. And uh, this is easier for me to put these back on. Don't do my illustration, but more things I'm down to know there. Off you come. Come on. There you go. Looks like a bit of a hard old time. Uh, probably from previous season. I 
particle take off. Looks like a seat glue on this one. This is not going to be nice. We'll get a few into that. So that's one done. Let's see how quick it takes to put them back on. First thing I'm going to do is uh, get some gloves and put it on. Plenty of solder on that still left. That's it on that one. Okay. And flip the needles. You can see these ones are a little bit squarer than the other ones. Very compact in here where I'm working now. And you can see there's a wide side and a narrow side on the uh, board. This is the anode and that's the cathode. And let's have a look. So you can turn it over. Yeah, impossible to do that with your fingers, it just sticks. So. So the white part is that side. So we see this little notch here on the side, which is the anode. That should be clue there for that. Don't know if we've got it or not. There's a little notch right on this side here. I have to make an assumption that's probably the anode. Okay. See will just jump off the board sometimes as you went too quick. And it's okay. A little bit of dancing. Next one. A little bit of fumes, but fume extractor is taken mostly. Too much flux on it. Back in again. Okay, that's looking good. <coughs> Next. Oh, 
Come on, get in there. Of course, you're not seeing this on camera, are you? Because um, what I'm seeing here on the uh, microscope sometimes is not exactly what you see on the uh, camera. They're a little bit misaligned. I'm just going to do the ones. I do have five of these strips, so I'm not going to go through the whole lot of them. Here you go. Those melt the plastic a little bit on the uh, diode. But it will be okay. You can get about a thousand of these diodes on AliExpress. Um, they're about 20. Pound. Not bad. We've got to turn down the heat of the iron a little bit to stop it melting the plastic. Should be able to minute, just give the board a heat underneath. Won't make any difference. Probably need a bit more flux on that. you of some flux, can we? It's a bit better. We'll try again. That's look a little better. Right, we do have uh, five diodes on one of the strips. Uh, I got another four to do, but I'm not going to uh, record a whole lot of that. Uh, let me just see. Then. Oh, okay, just get out of the way. I'm going to focus a little bit, doesn't look good. Though. Yeah. Right, the way I test uh, each one of these diodes, I get a power supply and I wrap it up to six volts. Uh, I'm, kicking in now. Uh, I'm on three volts now. Uh, and them diodes I took out, they were uh, three volts. I'm going to just put my power supply at three volts. If you put 1.5 volts across these, they don't light up. Mm -hmm. 
you're probably getting that. So we can tell that these these are three volt diodes. Now on the other hand, now we got um, these in here. Let's see what happens now when we put these on. I'm running at three volts there now. You see, can I get a little bit more amperage? There's not much amperage in these. Um, I'm, set to, I'm going to set it to about 1.5 amps, but it should be up. And bring it up to 6 volts. We're not getting anything with the 3 volts, are we? Let me just double check. Get no current flow on my, on my power supply. I'm going to ramp it up to. Uh, I'd be looking directly at the diode for that I'm doing, right? We've got some dark glasses on me. I wouldn't advise looking into them. And as you see, so if you're checking, you have to get make sure you have the, the right voltage selected for the type of diode you're actually testing. No good trying to test the three volts on this is a six volt. This is actually a six volt diode. 